All right, so today we have a video on my top 10 pairs of sneakers that I got for free per your guys' request. So let's go ahead and get in the video. What is going on guys? If you guys didn't know, I have a website called Collective Kicks and you can go over there and I basically just curate all of my top deals that I can find on Nike and Adidas and Champ Sports and Foot Locker and those type of sites and basically just put them out there for you guys to find some good deals. If you guys want to go check out that site, it's always linked in the description. In this video, I wanted to cover my top 10 pairs of sneakers that I got for free. And then this was an interesting one to do. I was going to do a top five, but I realized there was actually quite a bit more that I got. Uh, then I wanted to just do five. So I decided to do 10. And if you guys like that, I'm doing that, drop a like on the video. Also, if you guys have suggestions for other top five or top 10 videos, always leave them in the comment section and thumbs up those ones that you like. That way I can see them so I can cover them in some future videos. Now, again, this one is not easy because luckily for me, I've been in a situation where I've made a lot of good friends and um, I've gotten lucky from time to time and I've gotten a bunch of cool things for free through the many, many, many years of collecting. So I've been collecting sneakers since 2003 and that was when I started amassing a larger collection when I was DJing, making some extra money. So that's really when the foundation of the collection started. So that's a long time of collecting sneakers and through these years I've made some really cool connections with people and as well as some brands. And so with that in mind, I wanted to bring you guys the top 10 free sneakers that I was given. Just a couple runner ups before we get started. A pair I got from Stadium Goods and eBay. This is the Dunk Contest Air Jordan 3s in the white cement colorway. And then Hibbit Sports sent me the Fire Red Air Jordan 5s as well. Two of these ones I really like, but not my top 10, but still ones I wanted to show you guys. All right, let's get to business. All right, so the number 10 spot goes to these sneakers right here. These are the off-white blazers in the very first colorway from the 10. And this was a really crazy gift. I actually got these from my friend Lena. We've actually become really good friends uh, through the last handful of years. And um, earlier on, basically I gifted her a pair of zebras and then she returned the favor much later and brought me these as a surprise uh, of a random gift that I didn't know she was gonna be giving me. It was one of the sleepers in the pack originally. Like these were not reselling for like a crazy amount. I wanna say 400 maybe. And now they've just gone crazy through the roof. I feel kind of bad because the zebras really went down in value and these shot up. So I kind of got the better end of the giving gift battle. Anyways, I do appreciate her. She's just one of those great friends and she's like a great auntie to my kids. They just love having her around also. So she's watched my kids grow up, which has been super fun. And uh, she's just a, a really, really great person. So thank you to Lena for these number 10 spot. Number nine spot goes to the Black Cause 4s. I absolutely love these things and I got these actually gifted to me from StockX. So technically it was a paid promo, but these were part of the payment. It was a fun promo to do for them, but these are like amazing. Like this material on here is crazy. I love the X's on the back and all the embroidery on the shoe is really crazy. And it's leather lined, has glow in the dark soles. Like it's just a really, really dope pair of sneakers. And I've worn these ones as well. I will say, however, I chose these at a time when the Chicago off-white ones were close to the same price range. And I could have got those instead of these. And I somewhat regret that because the Chicago ones are just insane resale right now. But uh, regardless, this is a shoe that I wanted to own if it was then or now. It's just a great shoe and it's one that I definitely keep in my rotation. Just because it's such a high quality pair of Air Jordan 4s. And Air Jordan 4s have a lot of really cool colorways and stuff. But this is just one of those ones that I really wanted. So the number 8 spot goes to these guys right here. You can see these are the Stash Air Force 1s. This is a Complex Con uh, exclusive shoe that ended up... Uh, dropping through the sneakers stash, which you had to run around through the building and actually take a picture of the augmented reality. And then if you got a pair, you actually got them for free, which was insane. And I actually ended up getting one of the pairs. Uh, again, shout out to Lena because she was there with me when this happened. But the upper is all reflective and underneath you could see a print and that print is actually the bunch of fat caps. If you didn't know, Stash is a graffiti artist and he did sign the box. It even says two Hess kicks which I thought was really rad. The other thing is this is actually my wife's size. So even though I can't wear them, because unfortunately they only had a couple sizes left, we were the last people in line to be able to pick up our pairs. Um, at least I got them in my wife's size so she could always wear these if she wants. But I have them on display in the back corner over here just because it's a fun pair that I ended up getting for free, like just randomly. Underneath the swoosh is like nylon and the soles are like milky and it says stash. It has a little stash tag on the back too. And it's just a really cool pair of Air Force Ones that I was able to actually get. Uh, for free, which is the reason why these ones are in the number eight spot. All right, so the number seven spot goes to these guys right here. So these are the Nike GP3s. Gary Payton is what the GP stands for. And this is a really crazy pair of basketball sneakers that I remember from back in the day. And Index PDX is actually the ones that gifted me this pair. Technically it was for work because I DJed for one of their anniversary parties or something like that. 
And, uh, and they ended up gifting me these at the end of the night. And I did it for free. I didn't expect anything in return. It's a crazy pair of sneakers though. They actually had a pack of these back in the day. So this is the Pippins right here. And they also had a pair of Jason Kids. And what makes these things special is actually it was like a morph series. These are literally breaking off in the video for you guys. I mean, look at this thing. These things are destroyed. That's disheartening. Because of that, I'm not gonna take the booty out, but basically the entire outsole and the upper are actually detachable. And then you have an inner booty that can actually slip into any one of the skins. So it's called the Nike Morts and they had different skins that you had available. And some of them were made for the, some of the key athletes back then. Gary Payton, Scottie Pippen, and Jason Kidd. And they all had their different outer layers. It was all part of the Nike Alpha Project, which again, as I always say, is one of my favorite eras in sneakers in general because it was so innovative and different however it was just that moment in time that i just remembered and loved and the fact that they gifted me this one it was super crazy and i have the pippins i just need to get the kids i guess even though what's the point because they're literally falling apart i don't know if we'll ever see these retro but this is just one of those shoes that i hold near and dear and this is why this one made the number 10 9 8 Seventh spot on the countdown. So the number six spot on the countdown goes to these dunks right here. These are the Stewie Griffin dunks that Max Lund designed for me. He actually ended up sending a little Funko with it as well. But these things are absolutely insane. He actually Nike ID'd these and then did a little bit of custom work on top of it just to make it that like perfect Stewie-esque look as well as a little patch on the tongue. But he did such an amazing job on these and it was just one of those random gifts that he ended up creating for myself that like was a pretty much a one of one. I believe he created a high top version for Shane Victorino and then the low top version for myself, complete with the button down here and it had that cartoon piping around, similar to like the LeBron Six Stewies. But he did an amazing job on these, I can't think of them enough. It's just one of those shoes that are always gonna be in my collection. And you know Seth Fowler actually created these recently and shout out to him for sending me this pair right here. Didn't make my top 10, but it's still a very much appreciated pair of sneakers. But also Max Lund actually originally worked with that company a long time ago. This was actually the very first collaboration that they did with him. But Max also created this sneaker right here, which won the pencil uh, competition years ago. And so I have both of these from Max as well, complete with a little baby Madeline one that they had laser etched with Madeline on it. Anyway, Stewie Dunks, number six spot. So for the number five spot, can I just cheat and do five pairs of sneakers? Because I have a couple other heavy hitters that I want to show you guys last. So we call ourselves the Collective Koreans, but Paul, John, and Jen, and myself, uh, they actually ended up gifted me this pair. They used to write for my website, Collective Kicks. Then we have a pair of the LeBron 10s in that Nike ID vibes right here with the South Beach. These ones are absolutely crazy. I know some people don't like them, but uh, this one was a Nike ID option. And uh, some people that I know over at Nike ID actually gifted me this one right here. So uh, shout out to those people over there, but love that one as well. Another heavy hitter for me, I actually ended up getting these gifted to me as well. This is a Dornbecker Air Jordan 4s. This is a really crazy gift to get. Honestly, I really didn't expect it. And, and um, shout out to the homie that actually uh, laced me up with these. He gave me a couple other really crazy good things as well, but these are the ones that uh, I definitely covet the most out of what he got. He gave me a couple other crazy things as well, but these are the ones that I covet the most. Just one of those really cool pairs of sneakers. Also another crazy one that I got from my homie. This is the international edition of the uh, True Blue Threes, but if you notice, this is a sample version. But if you notice, the midsole is a little bit different. It's made like the white cements instead of the True Blues, which actually goes all the way up the midsole. So these ones are a little bit special. I've never seen another pair like this. And then another Jordan 4 that I got for free. These are some Snakeskin Air Jordan 4s. I actually DJed for somebody over at the Swoosh and um, they ended up gifting me these in return, which was crazy. I really wish I was DJing still, man, because I was getting some crazy fun stuff every now and then. But these things are amazing, man. Retail on these, I think were three or 400 bucks. Quality on these are unbelievably nice. It's just one of the best Air Jordan 4s quality wise. I would say that these are better quality even than the Cos 4s. Like it's just that good. Quilted leather liners and everything, man. These things are, are crazy. Really, really fun gift. And one that I definitely appreciate wearing. It's my most comfortable pair of Air Jordan 4s as well. That's super cheating, but that was the number five spot. Number four spot, we're bringing two out for the number four spot. I can't believe the homie actually gave me these for free. It was just a crazy gesture. I actually went over to his house to pick up these because he was gonna actually give these to me for free too, which is insane. I ended up getting a pair of sneakers for him. I think some Supreme foams or something like that. Um, in return just because of a gesture because he said he got these for me So I felt like I couldn't leave him empty-handed when he gave me these so I gave him the supreme foams and then he hands me these I was like what the heck no way dude I couldn't believe it I'm still like talking about it gets me excited too just because it was such a crazy moment like a picture And I mean you're a huge phone posit fan and I'll get into the other pair in just a second and then somebody Recognizes that and gives you a pair of like the most coveted pair of phone posits like on the planet at the time I'm still definitely thankful. The downside was these are so small. Uh, for those people that know, like these are an eight and a half and I'm a nine, nine and a half. 
And so I like have to take the insole out and really rock these with the thinnest socks possible. But I've worn them a couple times just because there's no way I'm giving these up, man. Uh, even if they are a little bit too small. So really fun gift, even though it's a little bit snug, the pain is worth it for the price that I paid. And then shout out to Sneakerhead in the Bay. He actually gifted me this pair right here. And as you can see from the box, these are the OGs. These are from 1997 and the retail price in the box was 180 bucks. $180 and 97, dude. That's insane, but anyway, these are one of my favorite shoes of all time, the Royal Blue Foam Posits. I absolutely love the fact that he gave me an OG pair in such amazing, pristine condition too. Like these things are legit. The laces are in the box still, but shout out to Sneakerhead in the Bay for these ones though, man. Still set up on my top shelf up there. You can't really see them, but these ones and the Galaxy Foams are on that shelf. So those two are the number four spot. Let's keep it moving. Number three spot goes to these guys right here. They've been sitting in this box. I've shown them off a couple times. The special edition Panda Dunks from Jeff Staple himself. And I still am like shocked that he sent this over, but he signed the paper and everything. Reached out to me on Instagram DM and actually was like, hey man, I like what you're doing. Let me send you something. And gave me a care package full of a ton of different staple clothes and then also these in this box with the SB Chinese New Year packet here. But this was a crazy gift because literally the week before I bought my pair from Index PDX, they had one pair in my size. I took it as a sign. So I bought these from Index the week before and then next week I got these in the mail. And there is a little bit of a difference between these models. The ones with the special box actually has a panda that is actually lasered right here on the side versus the regular pair that didn't have that. But I love these panda pigeons so much so that I actually ended up Nike IDing my own version of a panda inspired uh, Air Max 90. Like I really like the way that these came out. It even says panda on the tongue. I was literally looking around my room for inspiration on a design for the Air Max 90. And I saw these and I was like, oh man, maybe I can do a panda thing. So that's kind of what I did. But shout out to Jeff for sending these over, man. The guy is legendary and he always has my support with whatever he's doing. But these things were just absolutely nuts. Just a really, really dope gift. That was, that was only the three spot. All right, so moving on to the two spot, we have this crazy, ridiculous case right here. So first shout out to Paul and Tracy for hooking up this crazy case. The best sneaker case I've ever seen in my life with my logo on it and everything. But that's because they feature these sneakers right here. So these are the number two spot on the countdown. This is the Saucony Originals collaboration that I made with Saucony when I went to Boston with all of the other YouTubers and created my own signature pair of sneakers. It was such a crazy dope experience. So my friend Tracy does a bunch of these influencer seating box sets and stuff. Like she did the Kyrie Krispy Kremes and then the, the Kyrie like cereal boxes and some of the other ones as well. She helped design those. So she's actually the one that put this box together with Paul. It's like crazy custom, literally like cutouts for the shoes to go in it. And then on top of that, they made a little custom plate and everything, but it's holding this pair of sneakers right here. This is my first prototype of the design after the Technique 1200 turntable. And then you can see the hits of purple came from this slip mat basically that I have for my turntables when I originally bought them. That's kind of the reason why I did the purples on the Technique 1200 turntables. They actually have a green, yellow, and a red light. So I put those on the side. The chrome is for the chrome parts of the turntable, like the tone arm. The back heel cup is actually inspired by the platter of the uh, turntable. So they really nailed a lot of the details that I wanted on this shoe in the very first version. Glow in the Dark Souls was one of the first times I've ever seen Saucony even do that. And then there's a vinyl material on part of the shoe as well to give it that record vinyl sort of feel. There's a head shell design that actually rests right here where it's like on the vinyl, so like on the turntable. And as I mentioned, this is the very first version. This is the pair that actually released. So there was a couple changes that I made. And one of the changes, there's my Hess Kicks logo on the tongue of the shoe right there. And then it also says Hess Kicks on the side here. The head shell is a little bit bigger on the other version. And then the biggest change is the three dots I changed all black instead of the different colors. So this is the number two spot on my countdown, my own design that I got. And technically I got them for free. It's just one of those cool things that I, I was able to create and I'm forever grateful for that opportunity that I got. So that was the number two spot. If you guys are enjoying the video, please drop a like on the video. It took a lot of effort to figure out all these sneakers, man. It was a lot of work, but hopefully you guys are enjoying the video. It's by your request. And again, if you have other suggestions for top five videos, drop them in the comment section. So the number one spot on the countdown goes to the CP3 Tokyo samples that I got here and the Air Jordan 5 Tokyo samples that I got here with the yellow toe. I've shown these ones a lot through the years. It's definitely one of those shoes that have always been in my collection. Whenever I travel, this is probably the pair that I'm gonna bring with me to a sneaker event just because there's really only a couple people that I know that have this pair of sneakers right here. So this is a really special one to me because it's just one of those shoes that I saw and I was like, love at first sight. Like as soon as I saw these, I told my buddy, I was like, dude, can you help me out and get me those? Like, I don't usually ask for handouts, but 
this was one of those times where I was like, please help me out, get me those shoes. And he ended up getting me both pairs of them. So the Tokyo 5s is one of the most coveted Air Jordan 5s now to date. And it's probably because they were so extremely limited. They only released in Tokyo. And I've shown this many, many times, but drop a comment in the comment section if this is the first you're gonna realize this. This little symbol thing on the back of the Tokyo 5s is actually not a symbol. It's actually an inverted 23. It's not like a weird Tokyo font or anything like that. People don't even know there was a pack that came out, but this was the other one that came out, the CP3s. And then this has the inverted 23s all over the toe box and the release pair doesn't have that. So I love that because that element of the shoe is one of the hidden ones on the 5s, but it's all over the toe box on the sample versions that I have. And so it's just kind of cool how it kind of comes together. And I like the, the two tones of the gray on this one as well. And even the soles kind of vibe together with that gray and yellow and white. It's just a really cool pack to own and one that not very many people will ever have. And that's why this one, as I mentioned, years and years ago will never leave my collection. It's just one of those cool special moments that I was able to be a part of. And I still remember it. I've mentioned it also on the channel many, many times through the years. When the first images of these things surfaces, people were like, oh, those are terrible. Like they're so ugly, they're trash. And then when they found out they were limited, then everybody's like, oh yeah, yeah, I gotta get those. Those Tokyos are crazy fire. I still remember seeing that in the boards back in the day on Soul Collector and stuff, uh, like in the comment section of their pages. It was, it was hilarious to notice and just see the release unfold. Like it felt like being on the inside a little bit because I got these early. I got them before they released. Um, anyway, it was a special moment and one that I I'm happy to share with you guys, but Really, like all of these moments have been crazy and that's why this video is so long. And there's a lot of other things that I've gotten for either free or just lookouts for retail that you guys have looked out for me on. And for those people out there that have done that, thank you to you guys. But anyways, I'll leave the video at that. It's getting really hot in here. These lights are super bright on me. But anyways, have a good one. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Notification bell to be notified of when my videos are posted. And we'll see you guys for more videos soon. Peace, guys.